don't ever want to find yourself in the pocket of Revelia. Revelia! Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Tiffin Cromwell. I'd like to ask you a bit about Maranweem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. Have you heard rumors about dark witches or wizards lurking nearby? Try to avoid them when I can. Nasty lot, Rookwood's crew. However, I did see a poacher not too long ago. Not good for business. Not good at all. I'd like to learn a bit about you, sir, if you don't mind. Well, how charming. No one ever asks about me. Been in Maronween since I left Hogwarts. I did some work with the Ministry as a young man. A uh, confidential project. <laughs> Had to do with the usage of mandrakes. As weapons, believe it or not. Went through enough cotton wool in my ears to fill a cauldron. But after a time, I sought a quieter life. Set up shop here, selling my wares. I am always content among my plants. What can you tell me about your shop? I sell plants and their byproducts here. Herbology was always my passion, even as a young Hufflepuff at Hogwarts. I've met some interesting students in Hufflepuff. Hard-working lot, I gather. We are indeed. Glad to know our reputation still stands strong. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Such a pleasure doing business with you. Be sure to visit again. Always brightens Revelia. my day helping you, young ones. Revenia. Wonder who lives here. <sighs> Rebellion.
I should investigate. It's like a place right out of a storybook. May I have a moment of your time? More. Now, demiguys, what do we have here? Oh. A demiguys. <laughs> oh. Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. Ah, yes. The magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Sounds as if she needs rescuing. I know the perfect place. The perfect place is with me. Wait until the neighbours see her, not to mention how fashionable I'll be with those beautiful feathers. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Derricals don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Why are you fixated on Gwenaira and not rescuing all the Derricals? Gwenaira is special. She's more attractive to poachers with her lovely plumage. They'll try harder to take her. The other Derricals seem to have managed evading poachers quite well on their own. Can you tell me what the Derricol den looks like? It's down by the shore, on a sort of overhanging cliff. You'll recognise it by all of the Derricals lolling about. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Derricol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. 
I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. I suppose I should watch for Gwenaira. This must be the Diracool den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Oh, hello! Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible! Was it terribly difficult? Not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. It was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek. Now what shall I do? Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. You traitorous foul napper. I hope she picks your eyes out. said that travel broadens the mind. Alohomora.
wonder who lives here. Revelia. Alohomora. Alohomora. Intriguing. Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Confringo. Careful now. You could hurt someone. now, Demi guys. I hope he hasn't been kidnapped or eaten. Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something in a window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. Why did Henrietta feel the need to protect her house like she did? Henrietta was a baroness who married well, more than a few times. Her immense wealth drove her to a life of suspicion and isolation. 
The more wealth she amassed, the more paranoid she became of losing it. Hence the terrifying traps throughout the hideaway. Not even her family has been willing to deal with them to get to her fortune. Why don't you just get Rococo back yourself? Henrietta's hideaway is treacherous enough, but add Ashwinders into the picture and, well, I love Rococo, but I love staying alive more. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. What do you have for sale? What's brought you here today? That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. Can never have enough stock. That's what I say. Thank you for stopping by. Wonder where they're off to in such a... Rebellion. This must be the castle where Miss Coffee's Niffla ran away. Now, to find a way Ashwinders, I'd better find a way around them. Or perhaps through them. Here's one of those tables, Professor Shaw. Nothing even worth stealing in Marinwing. Rebellion. Mistake coming here. That's just the beginning. Is this Hogwarts bad? <laughs> 
do that again, and I'll see what... Nobody will believe I defeated Revelia. Surprise? Ah. Certainly looks to be the place. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Follow the treasure to find that Niffler. Ashwinders should have expected company. Treasure? That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. To watch my step here. Rebellion. Oh, 
There's treasure here, then there's treasure. These coins must have come from Miss Coffee's Niffler. I've seen you. I shall. Ah. What a dreadful world. That Niffler's certainly leaving quite a trail. Yeah.
What's this? Some sort of treasure map? Finding Rococo. Revelia. from Miss Coffee's nephew.
you have in store for me this time? Who lived here, I wonder? Revelia. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. like a place right out of a storybook. My poor Rococo. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh, goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have him back? Actually, he's taken a liking to me, so I've decided to keep him. What? He's mine! Oh, I should have faced my fears and gone after him myself. I wouldn't keep your Rococo. He needs to be home with you. Oh, thank you. You had me worried. I don't know what I'd do without my little scavenger. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. Oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. No. What's brought you here today? Thank you for stopping. Handy resource indeed. You're, You're here. Revelia. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? 
It looks like a grab horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grab horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of grab horns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. Have you ever subdued a grab horn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. Very well. Lord of the Shore, show yourself.
Didn't anyone ever teach you not to take things that don't belong to you? Quickly! Uh, uh, Expulsion! Uh, uh, Incendia! Incendia! You will uh, pay for that! Expulsion! We had plans for that immigrant you stole! Time to go a little quicker! It'll take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. Say your heart is uh, at all their teaching. Uh, Expose them! This looks intriguing. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. Which in Velcroft. I was surprised. I've heard centaurs quieter than you. I'll check your pockets. Up. Time for you all to clear out. Ah. Uh, oh, for it. Expulsion! Perhaps Professor Rockham was right to have had faith in you. I still have my reservations. Isadora, as you will see, was not who she seemed. I can only hope that you are. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? Mr. Morgan, I... 
Son, I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. Oh, Percival. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Longer. Not my father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. 
to allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now? If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. Settle yourself, I mean you no harm. 